Before we begin, we would like to thank Disney Amino for sponsoring this video. Amino is an awesome app where millions of communities and fandoms come together to share their interests. And Disney Amino is the best place where us Disney fans can come together to hang out and talk about different Disney-related topics and check out lots of Disney content. What we love most about Disney Amino is taking some really fun quizzes to test our knowledge, or voting on polls to share our opinion about Disney characters, movies, parks, or best rides. Go ahead and download the app and look for us there. We've posted a poll to end the debate. Twilight Zone Tower of Terror versus Guardians of the Galaxy Mission Breakout. May the best one win. To vote for your favorite ride and also be able to check out all the awesome Disney content Disney Amino offers, just click the link in the description or pinned YouTube comment and follow the prompts to download Amino for free on iOS or Android. Or you can download Amino by searching in your app store. Then search for Disney once you're in. Then find us by searching our username, FastPassFacts. And have fun! We've heard all kinds of rumors about Disney secret societies. From the Illuminati to the Freemasons, there are all kinds of legends surrounding Disney. But what if we told you about a confirmed secret society that connects Disney rides, attractions, and restaurants from Disney parks all around the world? Well, welcome to the Society of Explorers and Adventurers. A secret society determined to illuminate the vast, dark corners of the globe. Today, we'll talk about the tiny scraps of evidence scattered across the globe that hint at this centuries-old club whose vast, international frame story is still unfolding. Fortress Explorations. Location, Tokyo Disney Sea, Mediterranean Harbor. Setting, modern day. Sea connection, confirmed. The first remnants of sea came to light in 2001 with the opening of Tokyo Disney Sea, the much loved second gate at the Tokyo Disney Resort. Right inside the park, across from the sprawling Mediterranean Harbor and cemented into the cooled lava flows of the park's iconic Mount Prometheus, is the majestic Fortress Exploration. A sort of mini land in its own right, Fortress Explorations is a four story complex comprised of 10 individual exhibits housed throughout the fortress's domes and towers. It may be most easily understood as a museum of arts and sciences, concealed within a grand renaissance palace tucked away in one of the most extravagant theme parks on earth. Within its hollowed halls, you'll find a three-story Foucault pendulum, a recreation of da Vinci's flying machine, a navigator's hall containing perhaps the world's classiest remote-controlled ship game, and even a centuries-old camera obscura, an early dark-chambered camera that seems more from Milo Rambaldi's realm than our own. Spiral staircases, stone turrets, drawbridges, hidden chambers, optical illusions, grand murals, and frescoes. And ancient engravings abound within. One of the fortress's stone bridges even leads to a seismic recording station embedded in Mount Prometheus, where sea members have recorded and tracked the volcano's activity. One stop of many on the Japanese language Leonardo's Challenge scavenger hunt quest that sends guests throughout the fortress collecting clues and puzzle pieces. Even with all of its oversized wonder, the most breathtaking and beautiful element within this ancient citadel of knowledge must be the Chamber of Planets. Residing in the fortress's main golden dome, guests here can manipulate antique cranks and cogs to send metal planets revolving around a glowing sun. Outside is Explorer's Landing, an interactive dockside play area of crates, cargo nets, and the dock sailing ship Renaissance, open for adventurers of all ages to climb aboard. More than just an elaborate palace and dock, Fortress Explorations is the home base of sea. Tower of Terror, location Tokyo Disney Sea American Waterfront, setting New York 1912. Sea connection confirmed. Forget everything you think you know about Hollywood 1939, a freak lightning strike, and an elevator that travels directly into the Twilight Zone. Tower of Terror is part of the attraction lineup at Tokyo Disney Sea, but it's not a beacon of the gold age of Hollywood. Instead, the 13th story Moorish Revival building is part of American Waterfront, representing New York two decades before the story of the Hollywood Tower Hotel would even take place. When the Oriental Land Company decided to incorporate the renowned drop ride into Disney Sea, they faced a problem. The Twilight Zone is a relative unknown in Japanese culture. So, rather than forcing the intellectual property into a mismatched culture, Imagineers set to work developing one of the most intriguing and brilliant original stories to ever take place at a Disney park. The magnificent Hightower Hotel was indeed a beacon, but to flaunt the wealth of its builder, Harrison Hightower. Weaving through the hotel's magnificent lobby, a very interesting picture is painted, literally. Murals throughout the lobby proudly display Mr. Hightower making off with priceless treasures from ancient cultures around the world, 
usually while locals follow with spears raised and tempers flaring. Mr. Hightower is that most despised kind of antique collector, a thief. It seems that Harrison, a prominent and disliked member of C, would return with his riches to his opulent headquarters in New York, stashing his stolen treasures in a gargantuan vault, flaunting his vast collection to the old money of the city's elite. However, something is indeed about to happen that will change all that. On New Year's Eve, 1899, Mr. Hightower threw a lavish party to show off his collection of international treasures, and to highlight his newest accusation, a wooden African idol called Shiriki Utundu. When local reporters questioned if Hightower was intimidated by the tales that the frightful idol may be cursed, Harrison laughed and put his cigar out on Shiriki Utundu's head. What followed defied explanation, but suffice to say that Mr. Hightower never made it back to his penthouse that night. His body was never found, though Shiriki Utundu was inexplicably returned to his prized pedestal in Hightower's study without a single scratch. Now, 13 years after Hightower's disappearance, the Hightower Hotel is slated for demolition. But the New York Preservation Society has begun an aggressive campaign to protect the building as an architectural landmark, running tours of the once grand hotel and Hightower's abandoned collection with an attention-grabbing name, Tower of Terror. Harrison Hightower and his standing in sea create a tantalizing tale that gives this Tower of Terror timeless and international appeal. And our first concrete figure to stand among C's enviable ranks, Mystic Point. Location, Hong Kong Disneyland Mystic Point. Setting, Mystic Point, Peru, 1916. C connection, confirmed. Sure, Harrison Hightower might give C a bad name, but a visit to Mystic Manor across the sea at Hong Kong Disneyland will help you see the bright side of this international organization. Lord Henry Mystic is just the saving grace that C needed. Lord Mystic toured the world just as feverently, stumbling upon many cultures and locales, all the while collecting his treasures the old-fashioned way, without stealing them. The kindly fellow did just as much exploring as Hightower, but made a lot more friends in the process, including the mischievous monkey Albert, whom he saved from a giant spider somewhere in the African jungle. When Lord Mystic decided it was time to retire from sea and his expeditions, he took one final journey to Peru, where he constructed Mystic Point and an elaborate hilltop mansion. The mesmerizing architecture of Mystic Manor, featuring elements from many different cultures around the world all combined together, well represents the experience within, where Lord Mystic and Albert welcome guests to tour the collection of treasures. The queue weaves through an exhibition room where black and white photographs on the wall show the opening of Mystic Manor and a group portrait of C, dated 1899. Lord Mystic and Albert usher us deeper into the home where we board his latest and greatest invention, magnificent Mystic Magneto-Electric Carriages, that will whisk us into the manor and through the priceless artifacts stored there. The journey begins in the acquisitions and cataloging room, where Lord Mystic sets us loose to explore his newest arrivals before they're properly sorted. His most valuable? A newly arrived ancient music box, encrusted with jewels and golden monkeys, whose music is set to grant life to the lifeless. A silly superstition, of course, so Lord Mystic leaves us alone with Albert, who can't seem to keep his eyes off the thing. One touch later, and the trackless ride sends guests through Mystic's collection in a whole new way. The manor's many rooms all spring to life as the inexplicable floating dust of the music box spreads through the home. After a stunning finale wherein the Chinese collection literally tears the mansion apart, all is restored to order as we return to the cataloging room, and the musical dust is sucked back into the music box just as Lord Mystic returns to check on us. And another sea adventure has come to a close. Mystic Manor is commonly understood as one of the most impressive and amazing attractions at any Disney park in the world. Misadventure Falls. Location, Typhoon Lagoon. Setting, Typhoon Lagoon, present day. Sea connection, confirmed. One of the more enigmatic members of Sea that we've yet met is Mary Oceaneer, first introduced to us via an oil painting among Lord Mystic's collection. Oceaneer is a treasure-hunting heroine who tamed the seven seas with her parrot, Salty, in search for her fortune. Diver, sailor, snorkeler, and navigator, Mary is a master of the nautical world. Consequently, each Disney cruise line ship debuted an Oceaneer Club and Lab ostensibly named for Mary and her high seas exploits. But her first real appearance at any of Disney's theme parks was in a most unexpected place. As the legend goes, a rogue storm left her stranded in the waterlogged tropical paradise of Typhoon Lagoon, which may mean that the Miss Tilly precautionary perched atop Mount Mayday is hers. And in 2017, Walt Disney World's water park debuted Misadventure Falls. Mary made the coveted cover of Under the Sea Quarterly, and the queue for her new water ride is littered with recurrences of the sea coat of arms. But the story doesn't end with the queue. 
Once on board, guests ascend into Mary's past and then journey through the tropical paradise for close encounters with the treasures and artifacts she collected, spilling out into a lagoon of treasures. Misadventure Falls is not only the first official sea-connected ride to debut in the United States, it's also the only Disney water park attraction to ever include an audio animatronics figure, in the form of Salty himself. What's piqued even more interest among Disney Parks fans is that the ride's marquee contains some hieroglyphic-like writing that appears to belong to some ancient language. And with this, it could be that the 1914 tale of Atlantis, the Lost Empire, is connected to sea as well. Come back next week for part two of this video. Special thanks to Brian Krosnick from Theme Park Tourist for this amazing story. Go check out the original article and see you next time.